Welcome back. And tonight we kick off the final two weeks of the summer of Swift, showcasing some of about to retire Jim Swift's favorite stories from the past 36 years. Tonight's farewell from the porch segment takes us to just north of Elgin in Bastrop County in the year 2002. It was 11 years ago, almost to the day, that we went out on a literal porch to document the touching and remarkable story of a woman who sought out a patch of nature and became one with it. I don't get much work done during this time of year. I just, even if I'm in the house, you can hear them humming the, and chattering. And uh, just have to sit down and watch them. For Fritzy Simon, there is, in the last days of summer, a home in her step and a chatter in her eyes. It's like they're coming home. My kids are coming home. <laughs> My reason to sit and do nothing is coming home. <laughs> On any given late summer's day, between 50 and 100 hummingbirds answer Simon's call. The other day I was holding that feeder and a little female came up to me. I think she saw her reflection in my glasses, but she was right up to my nose, and I was thinking, you know, I think I better flinch on this one. <laughs> Little beak looks pretty sharp. <laughs> Simon assured me this is not about her. It's about the birds and the food. And she swore that if I would hold the feeder in my hand just like this, kind of steady-like, I'd be thrilled at the results. So I did. I've always said that they're my favorite miracle that God did. And I think they're wonderful. They're a true example of faith to me because they are sure of themselves, sure of their maker, sure of what they're for, and they go after it, and you know, they're not afraid. I think if human beings were so sure of ourselves, we could do a lot in this world. The 2011 wildfires in Bastrop County and our ongoing drought conditions have been tough on the birds. But Simon says they are back in force this year. I try my best to help them out and I hope that everybody else does too. If you'll just put out your feeders from Valentine's Day till Halloween, they'll be happy. Now, there's a lady who knows how to make good use of a porch. Yeah, beautifully. Couldn't put it better than that, of course. And we'll have more from uh, Jim, more farewell from the porch stories this week, Wednesday and Friday evenings at 6. And remember, you can watch them all through the links on our homepage at where else, of course, kxan.com. Quite a little collection that Jim is building for us there this sure. summer, huh? Lessons from the tiniest of creatures. Mm -hmm.